Married on FX is in its second season. It airs Thursdays at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. And the people who are married on that show are sitting next to me here on the show set. Nat Faxon and Miss Judy Greer. She's known on Twitter right here on the program. Good oh, yeah. to see you guys. Yeah, good Thanks to see you. you. I am. I'm great. So this is neat stuff. The show, very funny. But, Nat, you won an Academy Award for co-writing The Descendants, in which you, Judy... <laughs> co-started, yeah, correct? So you guys did. sort of go way back in that regard? Or? We do. Yeah. Okay. FX I'm... really wanted to recapture the magic. <laughs> of the descendants. <laughs> <laughs> They're really tapping into that seven years later. Yeah. Well, I just <laughs> think that's pretty neat. It's know? very cool. No, yeah. and I, uh, I bring the Oscar every day to work. <laughs> To no. show Judy, rub it in. Just that I have it and she doesn't. Yeah. Just, just, just so. put it Plunk right it down, down on the table. <laughs> yeah. This is my right Oscar. Right by the monitor where everyone, <laughs> in the, including the writers of our show, mm -hmm. can see it. I would do that, by yeah. the way. No, I keep in a it. special, like Oscar-made satchel. Is, <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like an over-the-shoulder <laughs> kind of messenger oh, bag. Sort of like a, a, a man purse. <laughs> yeah. A Oscar. Yeah. yeah. It's like an those rigs they've made for water bottles now, so that you can wear them across. Right. Cross I've actually body. made my water, my Oscar into a water bottle, <laughs> right. and I just suck out of the top. Wow, that's. I'm not yeah. going to continue that. At no, no, no. All. I like that it. That went like in it. a direction I did not mean it to go. Well, this is the fertile mind that led you to win the Oscar. Now. <laughs> this is that's this is, the this creative is, juice. This is it, man. Yep. Real your, genius over here. We call it a process. That's your process. <laughs> I'm going to let you do it. Um, Matt Faxon and Judy Greer here, here on the Rich Eisen Show. Judy, you threw out a first pitch recently. At oh a my gosh. Game. I did. Where, do, where does that rank in the, the most nerve-wracking things you've ever undertaken Did you on make Planet it across? Earth? Did you make it over home plate? Oh, yes, I did. Nice. Oh, yes. And Solid. there was a, a, re a, a guy just recently didn't... Oh, man, I should have prepared this. No, that's okay. okay no, sorry. Who, who, uh, he, he, dirted it. he dirted I, it. Put yeah, it in the dirt. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, was, I Paul made Pierce it. did that of the Los Angeles oh, Clippers. Wow. Just yes. dirted it. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. I did not. I practiced every single day for a week leading up to it, 60 pitches a day, with my stepson, who's a pitcher on his high school baseball team, and my husband, because I knew I had to make my family proud. Yeah. And I did. And I got a letter from my Aunt Deanna in Ohio with, <laughs> this is a really great Great story, everyone. <laughs> she photocopied a, co um, a page from my grandpa Greer's yearbook from mm -hmm. um, Ohio University. Yes. Where he was the 1927 MVP on his Bobcats. baseball team. The, the Bobcats. Yeah. Wow. From 1927. That's the one in Akron, right? No, I think it's Athens, Athens. Ohio. Athens. That's the one. Yeah. The one in Athens. Because there's Ohio State. Yeah, it's not state. It's not. No, 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 no. no. My gosh. That, that would be a big. But although, that would you be know, a big deal. What I are went you to, saying? I, I went to Ann Arbor. I'm at oh, the University of Michigan. I know you're a Michigan native, oh, yes, correct? Yes, I am, yeah. So, you know, you know yeah. I despise We're, all of the things about Ohio State. I know, State, and it's so weird because my whole family's from Ohio, but I grew up in Michigan, so it's weird because my whole family roots for Ohio teams, but mm -hmm. I have a hard time with it. But, mm -hmm. yes, I feel like my grandpa would have been proud but of that. Do my you think pitch. the Tigers are bummed out that you threw out a pitch at L.A.? Yeah. They've never asked me to throw out a pitch, so I'm just, so I'm saying. just saying. We have had people here. Uh, Nick just Thune, uh, the comedian Nick Thune was here saying he wanted to throw out a first pitch for the Mariners, and we made that happen. Really? Oh, can so I say something? Yes. What do you want, Nat? I Nat, would like to we... throw out the first pitch at Fenway Park. Don't. I would like you to make that happen for Nat. Nat, would you like to do that? <laughs> he really would. You would. Like to go? I, Judy asked me to do the Dodgers thing together. They asked us to do it together But you for really the wanted show. me to do it with you. You can't really throw no. it. But I felt <laughs> weird about... Doing it for he not like my home team. I respect that. I right? respect that. Isn't yeah. that, you kind of have to. Well, I have thrown one out for the Dodgers, and I'm a diehard Yankee fan. So I, I and so and I'm I also know I know that I'm I know it's here. okay. Nat. We can get along. We I'm out of here. Just fine. But, uh, see, we're showing for the radio audience now. Uh, oh, we're showing the, the did pitch. you make it over? Well, I, I yeah. right, that's good. You no, know, I mean that I didn't works. dirt it. That's what that, that's yeah. the you, what I are practiced you standing too. Standing on they they made me throw off a tarp off the mound. They didn't. So I you know the footing was a little slippery. <laughs> it was windy and kind of chilly. Right. It was sunny. All right. And there was also you know I didn't really have a very well balanced breakfast. Also, right. Wow. You know. Wow. Yeah. I'm out of excuses, but I didn't dirt it. And that's the whole thing. I didn't thing. dirt it either. You can't you put it been in. Proud. I can't believe Paul Pierce dirted it. Here's the thing is you have to make sure when when you do this for the Red yeah. Sox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is yeah. going to happen. Yeah. We yeah. make dreams come true. Uh, this here would be on, <laughs> on this show. Is that when you stand on the mound, you think you need to throw it down because you're on the mound. Ding, ding, ding. That's how you put it in the dirt. Got do it. Do not throw it nice and high. You gotta aim for well, I aimed for the LA on mm -hmm. the hat. Oh. Aim for the, I guess yours will be the... The B. B for yeah. Boston. The B. 
<laughs> well, it's, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know it's Red Sox. Yeah. The B. The B. Aim for the B on the baseball hat of your yeah. catcher. So we'll make... I practiced a lot. Well, I, I mean, 60 to... pitches a day, you might have to ice that elbow. I <laughs> know. Uh, I'm going to get Tommy John's probably. From... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's plural. That is plural. Tommy, Tommy John's. John's. Tommy John's. Yeah. Tommy John's is coming over. We're gonna... <laughs> you say that like it's something you could take a pill for. <laughs> I'm going to get the Tommy John's. I love that. When I first started dating my husband, I was listening to something on the radio, and they did this whole program about this surgery, and I was like, oh! <gasps> I know a thing about baseball now. Yes, you do. Yeah, okay. you sure do. So, who was your who was your Red Sox growing up? Who did you, Nat? Who did you? Uh, oh man, I idolize? mean, I I grew up when the Red Sox were good, but never good enough. Okay. You know, but I always liked. I gotta say, I like Mike Greenwell a lot. Ooh, what yes. do you think of that, Brockman? That's yeah. old school. Good one. He's I like, banned from Massachusetts Little League. Is he really? <laughs> what? He's a psycho dad, and he got banned from <laughs> Massachusetts. Literally. That's why I love him. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I love him. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, and then I love Dewey, Dwight Evans. Okay. You know, uh, right field. And because his stance mm -hmm. was always so awesome to watch. Right. Um, and then, you know, I always had an affinity for Jim Rice. I felt like he... He's a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. He is. You know? Okay. I remember talking to... I did a commercial a long time ago with Cal Ripken, and I was asking him all about baseball and everything. And um, he was saying... Uh, Jim Rice has, was not in the Hall of Fame. And I was like, is there anybody you think that should be in the Hall of Fame that is not? You yes. Know? And he said, Jim Rice. He's like, if you bat clean up in the All-Star game, yes. like a few times, mm -hmm. you should be in the Hall of Fame. No kidding. And it was awesome. And then, and he, then he got in like a few years later. You should have asked Cal other things. I know, I know. You know, you should have said <laughs> like, Cal. Like, hey, can you help me throw out the first pitch of Fenway? Right. You know? You know, Cal might not be able to do that, but I'm going to pull that one off for you. So, I uh, so, should be indebted to you. Oh, of course. No, we'll, we'll make that happen. Yeah. I don't just throw things out. I'll, I'll, I'll also. Well, <laughs> I, I will say, here's what I, I, but I will also say it off camera, too. So I mean it. It's okay. not just one of these things for, for on camera. Okay. I'll, I'll say it off camera, too, because okay. it doesn't mean anything until you say it. Off, off the camera. air, too? Yeah. Right? Isn't right. that the way? Because this is fully scripted. Right now. Right. The whole thing. <laughs> I didn't get that. Uh, so, so Married in its second season, Judy, uh, tell, tell everybody why they should watch it. Go for it. I'll give you the floor. Why do you watch Married? Why should you do that? Um, because it's so funny. There you go. And makes you a little uncomfortable. Mm hmm And isn't that, like, what good television is? Hey, Curb Your Enthusiasm is, is funny yeah. and uncomfortable. Yeah. And I love watching that show. Louis, funny Louis, and exactly. uncomfortable. Louis, exactly. Of course. Yeah. yeah. And you're like... That's a bad thing that they're doing, but mm -hmm. you're like, but I'm so glad they're doing it. Right. It helps normalize your already sort of dysfunctional life. Funny and life. uncomfortable, <laughs> hopefully funny. Yeah, it's, I think it's really good. I think it's really spot on. And people sometimes tell me that they get in fights with their spouses when they watch it. I love it. People That's, sometimes tell you. I like that. I love sometimes. that. Good way to, <laughs> I don't know what you know me. Uh, I don't know what you know me from Confessions of a Co-Star, yeah. uh, released in paperback this past April. Yeah. Good for you, Jude. Thank That's you. awesome. Thank you. Hey, no one can ever take that book away from you. No, or you Nat. Know? He I carries. clutch it. <laughs> what, I hold it dearly to my heart. By the way, I just gave you one of the uh, sports cliches that I hate the most, which is like, no one can ever take that away from you. Like, oh. there's nobody out there trying to take that book away from <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Literally walking No, the trust me, no one's trying to take it away from no. me. Well, People are happy with me having it. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to have it. They're happy for me. Yes. Well, thank you for coming on this show. Please Thanks come back. Both absolutely. You bet. Absolutely. And we're going to make that first pitch happen. Uh, I am excited. Brockman, awesome. call the Red Sox, but don't go through Greenwell, okay? Yeah. Oh, After what you just told me. Uh, married, second season on FX Thursdays, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time, at Nat Faxon, at Miss Judy Greer on Twitter and here on the program. Thanks for coming in. You bet, of course. Thanks for having me. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.